We are marking a somber milestone in the St. Louis area. 50 years ago this week, a plane carrying travelers across the Midwest crashed in a thunderstorm. 38 people died, and tonight there is a new push to make sure they are remembered. Our Russell Kinsaw spoke to an author who is making sure this crash isn't forgotten. Russell? Yeah, right now I'm on the UMSL campus. That plane crashed in an area just beyond this row of trees right here. As uh, Corey just said, 38 people died in that crash. Six did survive. So coming up this weekend on Sunday, family members of those who died in that crash are going to be gathering to mark that anniversary and also talk about a push to put in a permanent memorial for those crash victims. It's been 50 years and um, it's still hard to talk about. Donna Diebold's grandparents, John and Ruth Diebold, from the Cape Girardeau area, were on Ozark Airlines Flight 809. It was Ruth's first flight. They were going to California to see my dad's other sister, Barbara. Her husband was in the Navy. Diebold and others first heard about the plane crash in a news bulletin. But as the night went on uh, and more and more fatalities were reported, we knew that we were pr pretty much losing hope that they had survived. Flight 809 was a regularly scheduled flight from Nashville to St. Louis with stops in Clarksville, Paducah, Cape Girardeau, and Marion. It went down in a thunderstorm two miles from the runway, crashing into a field on the UMSL campus. Diebold saw the wreckage on television. That was hard to see, you know, knowing they were in that wreckage somewhere. 38 people were killed in the crash, but six survived, including the pilot and co-pilot. 50 years later, Diebold still thinks about that day. But I still have so many questions. You know, what I, I wondered always if they realized that they were in trouble. I didn't want them to be afraid. I, it, it just... It was heartbreaking enough, but to know that they knew that they were going to die. The NTSB determined the crash was caused by a severe downdraft in the storm. This was the only commercial aircraft which has ever crashed at Lambert St. Louis International Airport. Author Jean Zarwinski spent two years researching the crash and speaking with crash victims' relatives. She wrote two books about the crash, one of them about a surprising survivor, a dog. They were not aware that the dog in the crate was still alive until three days later. And an Ozark mechanic found and heard it and so captured it. And the dog's name is Lady Jane. During Zarwinski's research, she helped connect crash victims' relatives for the first time. Those connections have helped with the healing. I think it relieves um, pressure or maybe, I don't know what you want to call it, relief. Uh, your thoughts and some of the families of those who died on flight 809 plan to meet near the site on Sunday to remember the lives lost 50 years ago. I think that's wonderful that after all this time they're not forgotten. So author Jeannie Zarwinski told me that the plane flew so low over her family's house in Normandy that her father and brother were outside and they actually ducked because they thought they might get hit. Mm. Her brother and Jeannie Zarwinski, the author who wrote those two books, they will be there at that memorial Sunday. Live in Normandy, Russell Kinsall, News 4. All right, Russell, thank you.